Why would you do that? Well, because you get bored on the regular ride and then <laughs> see what I can do up Sit on the Sit down. Right yes. now, Michael. OK, you can probably go, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Today, Blake, we're doing something different, which we always enjoy. Yes, we do. What are we, what are we doing different today? So last week we did an Australian Would I Lie to You? And people enjoyed it. It's something a little bit different. It's the familiar because a lot of them know that Would I Lie to You? Obviously, they're tuning into our channel. But it's the Australian mm -hmm. version. So we're, we're going to introduce some more Australian comedians that we quite like. Okay, cool. Who we got today? This is a show that's just come back. They've, re they've revamped it a couple of weeks ago on uh, our TV in Australia. Do you remember uh, Thank God You're Here? I remember, thank God you're here. Did you ever watch it? Uh, yeah, actually, I watched a fair bit of it. I, I, not every night, but like at least two or three times a week. Yeah, it, um, it was on for probably about four or five years. So there's heaps mm -hmm. of them. And the good thing is I either haven't seen them or I've seen them so long ago that I can't remember any of them. And I remember one of the returning guests who's always funny in everything he does, Hamish Blake. Yeah, I know that guy. Yeah, you should know Hamish. Yeah. So for you guys who don't know who this is, he was part of a uh, comedy radio group called Hamish and Andy that were very popular in the drive uh, drive time, like 4 to 6 p.m. every single night for years and years. And then they ventured into TV, but they've always just been very funny guys. Um, so yes, we're going to introduce Hamish Blake today. And if you don't know, thank God you're here. I don't know if they have international versions of the show. They I assume they probably do. It's pretty much an improv show. So the uh, person gets put into a situation where he'll walk through a room and he doesn't know what's there and he just has to improvise the entire scene in a, in a humorous way. So that's the premise of this show. And if you don't have it, it's basically just um, whose line is it anyway? Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like one of their games. Uh, so this is Hamish Blake gets in trouble with the police. Of course he does. <laughs> yes, he does. All right. Let's get into it. Time to welcome to the stage one of our most regular performers. He's currently attending Thank God You Hear Anonymous meetings <laughs> to cope with his addiction, but tonight he's fallen off the wagon, and we're glad. Co-host of the Hamish and Andy Drive Time Juggernaut, Hamish Blake. Let's hear it for him. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, I can yeah. see that. You, uh, when you attended school, were you a, a uniform man or a... No, I had to wear one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but it always, it, you usually did look like this because I wanted to show off my legs. You can't. <laughs> Fantastic. You look good. good. You haven't had a peek in there. No. You? No. Hit, hitman? Mafia's youngest hitman? <laughs> could be. Or trombone. It could be that, uh, that obvious. Now, before you go through that door, I've got to tell you, you are not going through alone. OK. Uh, Constable. I thought you were joining. Yeah. 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 There he is. Oh. <laughs> Uh, Constable, Constable Reeves. Hamish Blake, good luck. Oh, thank God you're here. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah. Oh. God. Crazy day. Crazy day, guys. Crazy day. Cra Who wants to go to bed? We don't do nothing about that anymore. Who's... There's someone at the door. Oh, yeah, there. That's him. Oh, yeah. my God. <laughs> Michael, why is there a policeman with you? I don't know. You know, he followed me home. Michael, what's the real reason there's a policeman with you? I've decided to hire protection. <laughs> <laughs> I think, um... I think a few of the other kids in the orchestra are getting a little bit jealous of you know who. And um, so he's just basically witness protection. I think we should go to bed. Who's tired? <laughs> Michael, did something happen at band practice? No. <laughs> we spotted your son driving on Chesterfield Road. Driving? He yeah. doesn't have a licence. Golf clubs. We were just having, you know, <laughs> Dad, I want to be, like, be like you. He was spotted driving a car very erratically, doing wheelies, burnouts, donuts, and at one point he even mounted the footpath. Why would you do that? Well, because you get bored on the regular ride and then you <laughs> see what I can do up Sit on the Sit down. Right yes. now, Michael. OK, you can probably go, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Where in God's name did you learn to do wheelies and burnouts? Not your car. Um, <laughs> your car, Mum. <laughs> After a short chase, we managed to apprehend him and all of his passengers. Passengers? Michael, who else was in the car? It's granddad, I mean, it, I'm still... I'll, I'll look after him because, you know, that's my job every we day. We counted 17 individuals. <laughs> what were 17 people doing in a car? 
OK, well, he's focusing on the negatives. <laughs> on the plus side, you're looking at the regional champion of, of, of fitting mates into a car. <laughs> Why don't you tell your parents what we found in the boot of the car? Uh, Dave, Steve, <laughs> Macca. Several um, spray cans and a balaclava. Uh, well, because you know, I've had that cold. Um, <laughs> that was sp like ventolins. The balaclava, just because like, my head gets freezing sometimes. Michael, uh, look, officer, <laughs> I I'm sure there's a perfectly reasonable explanation for why Michael's behaving this way. Yes, Michael. Yeah. I was drunk, and we all do silly things. <laughs> when, and I think, we, I think we can all look back on this in an hour from now and have a big laugh. <laughs> Some, how long have you been drinking for? I, not forever. Obviously, my first few years were milk, and thank you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I am talking about alcohol. How long have you been drinking alcohol? Right. I don't know how... I can't give you a sort of a day figure, but... We Hero. I mean, I've, I've heard you and your mates talk. We also detected a strong smell of smoke from the car. What Go sort on. of smoke? You'll be pleased to know that rather than use the heating, we had our own sort of fires going around. The car. <laughs> Look, officer, this is very uncharacteristic behaviour for our son. Michael is a model student. He's a member of the school band. That's right. Yes. Yes. Why don't you show your parents what's in that case? <laughs> <sighs> Just a trombone, I would have thought. I, um... Uh, rather than bore you with it, yeah, that's it is a trombone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Michael, what's this about? Well, I'll tell you what it's about. It's about time you got some new jewellery, Mum, because <laughs> that stuff's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> About time we got some new jewellery. Come hang it, that was just 10 out of 10. Good morning, Tom. Absolutely, Shane. 10 out of... Hames, you were born to this show and uh, that would have to be the finest entrance I think we've had in <laughs> any series we've done. You were just so inventive using graffiti spray cans for asthma medication. <laughs> Who I don't recommend it. I don't recommend it, absolutely. Look, um, I, I guess, yeah, just feeling nervous in a school uniform took me back. Um, <laughs> but I'm, I'm glad that uh, my voice is broken now. <laughs> I think we're all glad, and we're glad you're back. Well done, Hamish. Thanks so much. back in town, and thank God you're here. Well, I uh, really, really hope people enjoy this because I definitely did, and I want to. I want to go down the rabbit hole of some of these clips. Yeah, that that actually took me back. I started to feel uh, all sorts of uh, nostalgia just then, but. I don't know, maybe that... I think I've seen him do that show a couple of times and something about that skit seemed familiar to me as we were watching it. Yeah. Towards, towards the end of it, I was like, I swear I haven't seen that. It just felt familiar. Maybe it's um Hamish Blake. He's always just cheeky humour. Very much know? so. Like, it's very on brand for him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I think that just probably was just that setting that yeah. amplified it. But yeah, I loved it. Just as much as you, I think. <laughs> yeah, good. Well, guys, please let us know. Um, <clears throat> are you interested in seeing some more Australian uh, comedians? Because, like, this is just, like, opening a whole new corner of the internet of uh, comedy <laughs> and, and sketches and all that kind of stuff. So we can definitely do much more of these. Um, but, yeah, please let us know in the comments section below. And if you like the video, guys, please also hit that like button. Let's us know you're supporting us and liking the content. And if you want to see some more uh, Thank God You're Here clips, uh, you can't because this is the first one we've done. But if you want to see some What I Like You clips or other things that we've done, then you can hear that playlist just up there. And we'll see you guys tomorrow for the next one. Bye, guys.